Hey guys, it's Carl. So that little intro sequence you just saw was the world's fastest electric race car, which I also have a nice little wallpaper behind me. And not too long ago, I got to check out said car, which is the Gen 3 car of the Formula E Nissan team. And if you're not too familiar around Formula E, it's essentially the highest form of electric car racing. Think F1, but electric. And my main partner there was Shell, which I've been lucky enough to work with for a couple years now. And they're partnering, of course, with the Nissan Formula E team. They're investing, of course, heavily into the electrified space. More on that in a bit, but that Gen 3 car that I got to check out, super, super dope. And Formula E is entering into their ninth season. And the big new things about the car, of course, you can see is the design, the overall looks. They're actually inspired by fighter jets to be more aggressive. They've got higher speeds of over 322 kilometers an hour or 200 miles per hour. And they're also more efficient and 40% of the energy used throughout a race is achieved through regenerative braking. It's also the first time we're seeing both a front and rear powertrain. And the way that the Shell partnership kind of works, I've mentioned that Shell is expanding its way into the electrified space. As an example, they've helped develop the Shell Recharge Network. So I did a electric car road trip from Toronto to New York, charging up at the Shell Recharge stations. With the Nissan Formula E team, they provide them with custom e-transmission and e-thermal fluids to ensure that their powertrain operates as efficiently, reliably as possible. And I actually had a chance to chat with one of the new drivers, uh, Sasha, super, super cool guy. He's actually really into photography. So we kind of chatted tech as well as Dorian, the team uh, director. So uh, here are those interviews um, at the race. So Sasha, welcome, thank you. I know that you're new to the team. Uh, tell me, how are, uh, how's it going? Yeah, very excited to be here. Hello everyone uh, so yeah very excited first race for me in Formula E in the, this world championship amazing championship for the people who doesn't know you should definitely watch it uh, you, you will see it this weekend for sure in some videos but yeah very excited first year for me in this championship with the new new team with Nissan so let's see how it goes tomorrow there's gonna be hundred and ten thousand people like packed a lot. house packed out the whole the whole stadium everything is sold out so it's gonna be great and let's see how it goes so I know that Shell is a key partner of the Nissan team what is that relationship like with Shell well, it's, it's brand new for me, but it's been great at the moment. We've been doing a lot of work with them, the e-mobility and etc. with Shell has been great. The partnership with, with Nissan has been a long time, one of the longest partnerships they had in, in, since they joined Formula E with Nissan. So it, it's been great. We're doing a lot of work for them. And uh, well, we, you can see it here. It's right on the captain <laughs> right there. And uh, one last question. So I heard that you're into photography. Um, tell me about it. Tell me about your passion. Well, I was living in Tokyo, Japan for three years for racing. And I got into this pretty recent, like a year, let's say, not no more than a year. Uh, but I love it. I love it. I'm just, I have it here in my backpack. I'm bringing it everywhere. Now I'm, I'm a bit of working, so I kind of, <laughs> kind of be there taking pictures everywhere. But uh, I'm enjoying a lot. I love it. And it's a, it's a new, let's say, new hobby. A really new hobby. And can you tell us what kind of camera that you're using? So I, I bought a Japanese Fujifilm uh, yeah. X, X100V. Yeah. I was into getting into a Leica Q2, but I was like, just to start, I'm going to start easily. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna step up uh, soon, I think, with another camera. That's the next upgrade, the Leica. It's a little, yeah, little upgrade with Leica, uh, but I need to get better pictures first, so we'll, we'll see, we'll take time. <laughs> Sasha, I know that you're a busy guy. All the best in the race. Dude. Thanks. Thank Dude. you so much, huh? Good luck tomorrow, eh? Yeah, see you. So now we're with Dorian, team director of the uh, Nissan team, and Dorian, I know I was here in New York last year with the Gen 2 car, now we have the brand new Gen 3 car. Tell us what's new. Well, obviously, what is new with this with this car is like uh, the, the design of the car. It's obvious from outside. So I know the design has been inspired by uh, by uh, planes, by jets. So it's uh, super um, different from Gen 2. But the the main difference is uh, inside. I mean, the the, the, the bodywork of the car. So basically, the battery is new. It's a uh, it's a smaller, less capacity, but it's balanced by uh, more regeneration uh, capacity. Because uh, with Gen 2, we were regenerating only at the back of the car, and now we have the capability to, regener to do regeneration with the rear axle and the front axle. Nice. So you've pretty much led us through what Gen 3 is all about, and I know that Shell has a very close partnership with Nissan. Tell us about that partnership. Yeah. So Shell is, uh, is a partner of uh, Nissan since day one. So it's a very uh, strong partnership. So, of course, we are chasing efficiency and reliability with our cars and uh, Shell is delivering us, supplying us uh, uh, some key products like uh, transmission fluids and gearbox fluids. We have a very close collaboration, so it's not only delivering products, it's also a great collaboration in uh, how to develop the products and make, and make them uh, even more performant. Uh, we are working, for example, with scientists to develop the products and they also help us uh, to analyze the, the, the gearbox oil after each event uh, because we are not able 
to open the gearbox, for example. So doing all the analysis, it helps us to see if we have something getting, uh, um, we can anticipate if we can have a, a problem with the gearbox, for example. So overall, I just had a ton of fun when I was out there checking out the brand new Gen uh, 3 race car, just super, super aggressive. Obviously wishing uh, the best to the rest of the Nissan Formula E team as the season continues on. And let me know your thoughts. I know that Formula E is getting more and more popular. Obviously electric uh, car racing will be the future one day just like how owning an electric vehicle for uh, the rest of uh, us uh, normal drivers will uh, also be the norm. I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. It was uh, super cool to check out and uh, I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.